Okay, this is Dr. Janes, and we have our laptop here. And it's really annoying because I had to shut it down, and then I don't know if you can see this, but there's like a black strip along both of the edges here. And it just appeared after I rebooted it. And I was kind of looking on the internet to try to figure out if anyone had a solution for that. And uh, no one really knew how to fix that. So we have about this much room that's got a black strip. The screen used to go all the way out to the edges. And so I was fiddling around with the uh, settings and I think I figured out how to fix it. So this, I believe this is Windows 7. We go into the Start menu down here. And we're going to go into Control Panel. Okay. And we'll load up Control Panel. And we'll go into Display. Okay. There's display, and uh, I believe I went into adjust resolution, and over here it says advanced settings. So we'll click on advanced settings, and there's a bunch of tabs up here at the top, and I believe I clicked on uh, Intel graphics control panel. And there's some pull-down menus here, and at the bottom it says Graphics Properties, this box down here. And so if we click on that, then it starts loading up some kind of Intel, who knows what it is, some kind of program to uh, fiddle with the display. And it takes a few minutes here. Now this is a, it's not an HP, what is it? Anyway, so it has a bunch of boxes you can select here, and we go to the top left-hand one. It says Display, and click on that. Come on. And uh, we go up to, it says Select Display, and it says Monitor. And it's set on Monitor, but we can click Built-in Display. And when you see that, see it changed the size of the picture over here. And... But, but it's still got the bars across the edges. So if we go over here, it says uh, Scale Full Screen. Okay, so click on that, and then we go down to click Apply. And look at that. We got our edges back, see? And uh, I guess we will... New settings, do you want them to keep the settings? Yep. So it looks like our problem is solved now. Let's click out of this guy. And now we have our full screen back. I'm not sure why it got into that weird funky mode after I shut down, but who knows why Windows does all the things it does anyway. So anyway, I hope this helps you with your issues with uh, screen problems. And uh, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.